Okay, let's talk about the Battle of Pelusium. So, the battle took place in the year 525 BC. This was between the Egyptians and the Persians. Their leaders were this guy here and this guy here. This is their names. How did the battle start? In short, we don't know. This all happened a long ass time ago, but one of the potential stories is this. So one day, there was this eye doctor in Egypt, and the pharaoh told him to go to Persia. He didn't really want to go, but it's the pharaoh, so... Yeah. Understandably, he was pretty pissed. And somehow, the eye doctor got super close to the Persian king, and managed to convince him to marry one of the pharaoh's daughters. When the Persian messenger came to the pharaoh and asked for his daughter, the pharaoh was like, Ah, nah, I don't want to give up one of my daughters to a Persian. So he sent one of the old pharaoh's daughters instead, and just said it was his. Anyway, so somehow the Persians found out that she was a fake, and they went to war. Well, there was some other political stuff in between, but this is like the big incident. Now, onto the war. So, the Persians had inside knowledge about the Egyptians. In short, the Egyptians have many gods. One of them is named Bastet, who was the god of protection and good health. She was depicted as a cat-headed woman, and cats were her symbol. Why is this important? Don't worry, we'll get to that. So, cut to the day of the battle. On one side, you have the Persians, with what was most likely a larger force than the Egyptians, but the documentation isn't that clear. And on the other, you have the Egyptians, ready to fight to protect their homeland with life and limb. The battle starts, and they both brace for war. But then, the Persians pull out their secret weapon. Cats. Well, why would cats be a secret weapon, I hear you ask? If you paid attention five seconds ago, you would know that cats are the symbol of Bastet. And to Egyptians, cats are seen as a kind of extension of her. And they would not harm the cats. You would have Persians throwing cats at Egyptians. You would have them using cats as shields, releasing them onto the battlefield. With all this going on, the Egyptian morale went from 110% to zero, really fast. No matter what, the Egyptians would not harm or allow harm to come to the cats. The battle ended up being a complete slaughter, with there being over 50,000 Egyptians dead, and only 7,000 Persians dead. To break that down further, for every one dead Persian soldier, there was seven dead Egyptians, and some change. Hey, thank you for watching that. This was a pain in the ass to make, and hopefully I'll have the process more streamlined for the next thing I put out. Yeah, it felt kind of weird just abrupting, abruptingly? Quickly ending it after that, so yeah.